Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Nikon P600 and Nikon P530. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Nikon P600 and the Nikon P530 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 7th of February 2014 and the 7th of February 2014. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Nikon P600. For portrait photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 4 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Nikon P530. For portrait photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 4 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Nikon P600 and the Nikon P530. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Nikon P600. And here are some sample photos from the Nikon P530. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Nikon P600. I ordered the camera in mid-March and returned it after a day because of dead pixels on the LCD. It seemed a little slow between shots, but it makes sharper full-zoom images at ISO 100 than any other super-zoom camera I've used. It has a time-lapse function and incredible detail at full zoom. The refurbished one is better, without the previous problems. It takes sharp pictures at full zoom in good lighting and has good image stabilization. The P600 has good image quality but requires patience and awareness of its weaknesses. This camera has exceeded my expectations in nearly every aspect. The only downside is the lack of a hot shoe or socket for an external flash and the quick draining of the battery. Overall, I am very impressed with the camera and would recommend it to others. Here's what people have to say about the Nikon P530. I love the camera. It takes amazing pictures and is easy to use. However, I wish it came with a full manual, had geotagging, and a sensor to switch between the screen and viewfinder. Also, the shutter speed scrolling wheel is annoying. Overall, it's a great starter camera for photography enthusiasts and novices. I hope to improve my skills with it and take some great photos on my trip. I am very happy with the camera. It arrived in great condition and works wonderfully. The shipping was fast and the packaging was good. I've had the camera for a week and I am enjoying learning about its different features. It takes great pictures and is easy to use, even for a beginner like me. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Nikon P600. We will give it an overall rating of 7 out of 10. Nikon P530. We will give it an overall rating of 7 out of 10.